All right, so I want to quickly go over Happy Land Studios El Gudo. I got this as a gift from my brother. So shout out to my brother who got me this gift. Who's not going to see the video probably, but I'll say that anyways. The notes, I got them written down here because I don't remember. Brandy, fruits, beeswax, oak moss, labdomum, and white musk. So as far as presentation goes, super simplistic, minimalist, really timeless looking, which I enjoy. I really dig that a lot. I, I like the way the bottle looks. The performance itself is like, fuck me dead. I get 12 plus hours easily. I mean, this is... You're gonna fuck a hundred women in one night wearing this stuff. It smells so good. I mean, it smells amazing. Hold on. Oh, I just can't stop smelling it. My thoughts on it, as far as the fragrance itself goes, is if and this is kind of silly, but if I'm gonna describe, if I'm gonna describe the scent and the image that I get in my head when I smell it, I would say a luxurious James Bond at some super luxury ballroom party and he's gonna be drinking some high-end, super expensive Welch's grape juice where the flavor is just on fucking steroids. <laughs> I know that sounds insane, but that's, I mean, when I smell this, it makes my saliva glands go crazy like they do when I was, or like they did when I used to drink Welch's grape juice as a kid. Oh, God. That, that's mainly what I get. Just a super boozy Welch's grape juice. And again, performance is insane. I'll tell you a quick story. I actually wore this recently. Um, went with a couple buddies to grab a burger. We went out to eat. I put this on. I had one of those quarter zip sweaters on. I put it on my neck. Boom, boom. So some of the overspray had gone on the sweater too. We went out to eat. We had to wear masks until we were seated outside. And then we could take the masks off. And I got a whiff again when we got there about 25 minutes later, which was nice. We went on, we went on with, the, with the evening. We ate. Everything went great. Went home. I took that sweater off and I tossed it on my chair or whatever I did. Took a shower and went to bed. Went to work the next day. Um, went to go visit my parents that evening to go have dinner with them over at their place. And I just grabbed that same sweater to throw it back on. And that night, when I, the next night when I threw the sweater on, it, the, the, the smell just blasted me. I literally thought... I mean, not I literally thought, but I, I could have been fooled that I just sprayed this on. This shit is powerful. Like I said, this, I mean, fuck. This stuff is great. It smells really good. Like I said, I mainly get the grape. Really boozy grape. It just smells amazing. Ridiculously strong. Ridiculously long lasting. I would say this is a nighttime scent. Although, for the record, I don't. I try not to believe in you know, specific times and, and, and stuff like that for fragrances. I will say in one situation, if you're in the high heat, you want to, I want to avoid wearing certain fragrances because I don't want um, the smell to go bad. But if you're in the colder weather, I think you could wear fresh fragrances. You can wear anything in the cooler weather. Just going to depend on how heavy you need to go on the sprays. Just my opinion. But this one, I recommend in the cooler weather, I recommend in the evenings, and I recommend dressed up, to be honest, but check it out. Go grab it if you don't have it. It's definitely blind buy worthy. And with that being said, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because if you're not, it's like you're just coming in and watching the videos and leaving and it's like you're just getting in my pants and you don't even call me back. I mean, what do I get out of this? Make sure to like and uh, until next time, Take it easy, take it sleazy, take it any way you can get it. I gotta go, I got shit to do. Can't sit here and talk to a fucking camera all day.